Hey, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Readings. We're going into the dark woods. Grab your lanterns, grab your, grab your torches, your flashlights. We're going into the dark woods. We're going to do a Cancer reading. Cancer. Break them up one more time. Cancer. Let's go. Let's get her on. And let's get her done. Cancer. Get her on. Let's get her done. Let's go. Knight of Swords. The Moon. And the Star. And the Three of Cups. Well, <laughs> you're not seeing things clearly, but that's okay. That's okay. It's like some people are just blessed, you know? Some, some people just have a horseshoe. Seriously. There's a lot of overthinking here. A lot of overthinking and not seeing clearly with the moon card. A lot of overthinking. But the great possibility <laughs> of the Three of Cups. Now, what is the Three of Cups? No, it's freaking grand celebration grand uh, the great possibility even a miracle of some sort of celebration a celebration of life celebration of birth some great celebration cancer maybe this is not what you're seeing you're overthinking and your mind's going tick 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 and you're not quite seeing something but um, all in all, there's a great possibility that what you're not seeing is that there's a great celebration coming towards you. It's just a little too much late. Give me one moment. Let me just disappear over here for a moment. Wow. Okay. All right. Wrong windows. <laughs> all right. So, just pretend it's war paint or something. <laughs> so there's something that you're not seeing. You're overthinking. There's something that you don't see. And what you don't see is a great possibility of some huge gathering of some sort. Some huge uh, a celebration of some sort. So, no matter what you're invited to, if you know that there's going to be a barbecue or just a bunch of friends going down, to the beach, or even family going down to the beach, or uh, I'm taking the grandchildren, I'm taking the kids down the beach, you want to come, Grandma or Grandpa, go. Because you will celebrate. There will be something down there uh, that will make you extremely, extremely happy. Let's keep going. Well, uh, well, maybe, Maybe, my darling, you'll, you'll, you'll find some kind of hidden treasure with the King of Pentacles coming out here, the King of Money. Maybe you'll find some sort of hidden treasure. Or maybe you'll find something and say, oh my God, this might be worth something. Or maybe you'll find some sort of enlightenment. Or maybe you'll find with the Four of Wands someone that will warm your heart maybe you'll find the one that you've been waiting for whether old or new or someone that warms your heart with the bonding card somebody you will bond with maybe just sitting there on a park bench watching the water watching the grandkids or watching the children and someone comes along and sits beside you, you just never know. 
So go. Be prepared for great, great celebration. With the Hierophant coming out here, spirit. Mm. Now, this is also marriage. This is also tradition. And it comes after the marriage card. This could be someone that you might have been married to. And all of a sudden realizing that, holy crap, we're getting along really well here. Spirit. The Three of Swords in the reverse. So once there was heartbreak with this person. But not anymore. This could be an ex. Possibility of someone that you were married to. If it's not someone that you were married to, then someone that you were living with and very close to. This, this is what spirit sees in marriage. Let's keep going. The Two of Pentacles. The Death Card. And the Magi. And the Nine of Wands. You are overthinking. Even if you were to meet an ex, and even if you like said to yourself, you know, we're getting along just fabulously, I didn't realize they were so freaking intelligent. You know, now that they're grown up or whatever, or now that I get to see them again after all this time, and you're kind of wondering when it ended, when the death card. And you're kind of like this, undecided on whether I should you know, maybe try again, or maybe I should uh, give them a chance and listen to them, or just anything. But with the death card, this is something that was over. And the renewal, and the renewal is what <clears throat> the magician. The renew renewal is the magician. Now, this is using powers of heaven and earth. One hand up, one hand down. This is using powers of um, uh, manifestation. Of, I wonder if it would work this time. And I wonder um, if we can get together again. And nine of wands. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> And the Five of Pentacles. And the Three of Wands. And the Eight of Swords. Well, Cancer, God love you, Charlie, you know. Uh, I think that you just, you don't trust any anybody from the past now. I don't think you trust uh, an ex. And even, um, even if you do meet them, um, there is some grand celebration and Spirit is saying, when there's a celebration, do attend. Because I do have the King of Pentacles here. This is something that you're going to find quite interesting. But it appears to be an X that will be there. Just show up out of the blue. You will be quite thrilled to see the difference in them since you've been gone. But with the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands... This is, um, I have to leave it out in the cold because what? Because I remember that when we met the last time that I was quite thrilled with it. There's a lot of overthinking here. With the Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords, now the Three of Wands is a ship coming in. But with the Eight of Swords, this ship just causes me a lot, a lot, a lot of brain tornadoes. Mind tornadoes spinning, spinning, thinking, thinking, thinking. Is it worth trying again? Is it worth being with the same person again? It didn't work the first time. Can it work again? Uh, I had a great time. It was nice to see them again. And, and I still felt a little bit of something. And I think they did too. And we had a good time and a nice chat. And, and it was really, really good. And I can't believe how good it was. And, and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. 
but leaving it out in the cold because of the remembrance of the nine of wands of what used to be and leaving it out in the cold. But this is the ship coming in and this is a question that you'll ask yourself. Is it a ship coming in? Is it somebody? Is it someone from the past that I had a great time uh, seeing again? But are, are they um, are they really changed? Is it worth trying again? And so we get into the mind tornado over and over and over. And the two of wands. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Because I'm overthinking this and I don't know what to do. So Cancer, um, do get ready for, okay, so the Knight of Wands is, uh, it is probably someone also that you will speak passionately with. And this is what the confusion is. Uh, you're probably um, playfully speaking passion. And, oh, do you remember that time that we did this? Or do you remember that time I yelled at you and 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 showed you anger and showed you that passion and do you remember the time that we showed that passion you know but to bring up remembrances um be prepared to meet somebody do go though because this will be a good experience for you but don't get all wrapped up in your head don't 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 try not to get all wrapped up in your head because you meet someone again after a long time someone who was very very close to you and who is now all of a sudden must be free and single and going to the picnics again or showing up with your family again. So this is what I have for you, Cancer. Who's here? Gemini's here. Taurus. Scorpio. Taurus again, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, all signs are on the board, but these are the signs that are prominent. I want to thank you for joining me tonight, and if you like the way I read, please like, share, and on your way at the door, hit that subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell, so you know next time the spirit is in the room to speak with you. No mistake on the answer. No mistake.